to really understand the beauty of a place, you really have to go away for a few years and then come back and see it again for the first time again with more worldly experience. So that's what I did. Like many before him, Derek Grant came to the realization that it is only by leaving that he could truly appreciate home. And that home is Kennebecasis Valley in southern New Brunswick. I started photographing the things that I'd been missing for several years, including covered bridges and whales and boats and wildlife and butterflies and foxes and on and on and on. Derek started taking photos on an impromptu trip to India two decades ago, but his true passion for photography took off quite literally on September 7, 2014 at the Atlantic Balloon Festival. It was while editing his pictures that he saw something that ultimately was a game changer. I noticed a little object in between the balloons uh, that I was photographing and it turned out to be a drone. And when I did the research, I could blow the photo up and I could see the make and model of the drone. And four days later, I ordered a drone. Four weeks later, I was flying with the birds along the lar largest covered bridge in the world. And then four months later, I had a viral video on ice shacks uh, along the Kennebec Cases River. I asked him to expand on the story of the ice shacks and why that video in particular struck a chord globally. He says that people in warm climates like South America were both fascinated and a little concerned. Why we would choose to go in a very cold winter and live in these ramshackle ice shacks, seemingly enjoy and have such great uh, fun outdoors, that was what really got their uh, their attention. In 2018, the drone was the ideal tool to capture the moments after the St. John River spilled its banks, causing a devastating flood. I saw cottages and houses underwater. I saw roads closed off that had never been closed off before. I saw animals in distress, beavers swimming um, around cottages. It's, it's coming up uh, fast and furious and uh, makes you feel vulnerable how, how things can change in such a hurry. And uh, to see all those people who lost their homes and it was a mess, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It was uh, it was quite a weather event, that's for sure. And that wasn't the only extreme weather event to impact southern New Brunswick in recent years. In July 2014, post-tropical storm Arthur came roaring through, leaving a path of destruction as it passed. I went out in the middle of it, and at one point I was stuck between a, a large spruce tree that had fallen down on one side, and when I went to back up, another tree had fallen down. I had to wait for the crews to come and, and cut us out. So there's a bunch of cars trapped. That's another like extreme weather event that I had not seen before in this region. Derek, known as Nature Paparazzi on social media, may have weathered some storms, but his love and appreciation for the beauty of New Brunswick is obvious. Well, I returned here because of the people, because of the uh, natural elbow room wanted to get back here so I could be at one with the outdoors again and to enjoy that natural element.